Hey ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to this chess introduction. Actually, I am preparing a lot of videos, a series of videos that I will explain a lot of uh, chess openings. It's the most important thing in the chess challenge. But before that, in this first video, I will uh, make you a small introduction about the chess and about the chess pieces. There is a lot of people who don't know a lot of things about it. So as we, you see here, we have 32 pieces. We have the black and the white, or brown or whatever. Um, of course, this is the, the most important uh, piece. This is the king. And after the king, you have the queen, the white queen. And then you have the bishop. It's like that. After the bishop, you can have this knight, the knight or the horse, they call it. And you have the rook every piece has its own uh, characteristics and the pawn smallest uh, pieces on the on the table here now i will start to uh, put the pieces on the table and let you see how you can do it so in the first thing you bring the pawns or the soldiers and you put it in the in the beginning of uh, this row and after that you bring the, the black pawns and you put it in front of it on the second horizontal row of the chessboard okay ladies and gentlemen one second just to put it and uh, we bring the rooks where's the rooks the, the black rooks we put it here and here on the table then we bring the two horses two black horses we put it next to the rooks like here then the two bishops here and always 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 you have to put um okay this is here and this is there and the king here next to the queen this is the rook and this is the knight and this is the rook and this is the knight and this is the king and here are the bishop and the second bishop Okay, first, as you know, the chessboard has um, two colors of squares. And in the beginning, you don't have to know more than that, but in the expert um, activities, you and people who study in books or prepare uh, plans, and they write it with the pen on a paper. So we, uh, we the, the people did that. Uh, we're gonna use this white square here as a white square uh, and we're gonna call it A and this is a, a column of vertical in front of the player this is the old vertical column is the A and this is the B C D E F G H and horizontally also you can consider the first row horizontally here in front of me on the white pieces is the one and this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and eight. So here I have the rook. The rook I put it here on the a1, for example. If I put it here, it's on the a2, a3, a4, a5, a6. And here we have this rook on the b. This is the b1. This is b2, b3, b4, b5, b6. Okay, I hope this is a small introduction about the board and how we put the pieces on it. It's very easy and with your experience and with your practicing on chess, you're gonna learn it by mind. What I like to tell you a few ideas about the game is I recommend it. I consider that it's the most important game in the world, especially in the world of um, board games I like it very much I play a lot of times ago uh, the more you play the more you uh, the more you, <coughs> you you make your skill better and you need to think a lot of people they play without thinking like they are spending time or enjoying they play like that without thinking without imagining without uh, planning so these are wasting their time, these people, they are not learning. You don't have to learn just for fun or waste time, but you have to play to improve your skill. Um, 
each game you play it you must learn something from it and in each move you, you do also you have to um, learn something if you are not learning something from what you are playing stop stop playing maybe your your mind is not made for such strategic game and about strategy it's the most important uh, strategy game ever this game and whatever you play in strategy here on the board you can um, make it in life or you can find it in life every move every action every thinking and also it's a psychological game when you look at the person in front of you you analyze his character how's his how how his eyes is moving how he's thinking is he cool or is he nervous it all depends on how he's gonna play in front of you or against you so also there is a third thing other than the strategy and the psychology there's the tactics the idea of the, the main idea of tactics is how you're gonna find solution on earth on the round on the board uh, the more uh, you prove the way you escape or the way you attack that's called tactics so a lot of people have a tactics uh, skills they, and they don't have a strategic skills so uh, you have to know uh, the idea, the, the personality, the character of the person who is playing in front of you. If he is strong in tactics, you leave him till the end. If he's strong in strategic, you work on your beginning moves. Okay, and uh, that's uh, as an introduction. I like to introduce the chessboard here. Uh, wait for me for the next video and the first uh, opening chess which is called the Italian game. This is the Italian gambit also. See you soon, next week, bye bye.